What is going on, you guys? It's your boy Joe Blow Gaming. Hope you guys are having an amazing day. I know I am. I'm super tired. I barely slept. Uh, gotta go to work soon. Not that I'm crying about that, but I'm just saying if I do mispronounce things, I do apologize. Um, I'm not. I'm pretty fog minded right now. So, guys, I gotta do this video because I had a comment and they want to know how to create a Minecraft modded server for 1.21. So I said, you know what? Challenge accepted. Let's go ahead and do this. Let me show you guys how to do this. You guys know I make the best tutorials out there. So stay tuned. Subscribe, like. Let's let's hop right into it. So guys, first thing you gotta do. The first thing is you gotta launch your 1.21. Now disclaimer: there is no optifine, optifine. Blah, 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 blah. There's no optifine for this version. Okay. So if you're running a server, a modded server, for minecraft and you don't have optifine i don't necessarily recommend it now minecraft the optifine the latest version god i feel so stupid guys i like literally have like no sleep in me <laughs> sorry guys not the best thing to say during a tutorial anyways guys this is super easy so i just want to let you know this is sidetrack optifine is not for 1.21 it's for 1.20.6 so if you do want to create a modded server with optifine which is very much recommended you have to do a minecraft server in the 1.20.6 okay well joe how do you we're doing 1.21 how do you create 1.26 guys it's the same exact way the only thing you have to make sure is that your minecraft server your forge are the exact same versions. If you go and get a 1.21 Minecraft server and then a 1.20 um, Forge, it's not gonna work because they're different versions. So it doesn't matter what version you use. In this example today, I'm using 1.20.1 or 1.21, but you can use any version as long as your versions are Exact. So if you wanted Optifine, you would just need to create a server in 1.20.6 and get your forge in 1.20.6 and get your mods in 1.20.6. Anyways, completely sidetracked there, and I do apologize. So, guys, you will not be able to run a Minecraft server in this version if you do not download this Java, okay? It's the latest SC22. You have to download it. If you do not download this, it's not going to work. Your Minecraft server will not work. I promise you. I tried. So, obviously, click on this page. You're going to scroll down. And if you're on Windows, you're going to click right here. Windows 64 installer. Click it. Download it. Install it. Takes a few seconds. And then you'll be able to launch your server. Okay. First thing we need to do. So, we ran our Minecraft 1.21. Once your Mojang loads up, you exit out. That's all you need to do. Second thing, we go to our desktop, we click new folder, and then we're going to type in Minecraft server. Now, you can obviously name this whatever you want. I do not care what you name this. I, it's just I'm doing a server for the purpose, obviously. Anyways, so what we're going to do here is we're going to download. So click on the second page. So the first page will be your Java. Second link will be uh, the Minecraft server. So you're going to see right here, Minecraft server. I've already downloaded it here. Um, but you're just going to click this and it's going to download. And then you're going to drag that to your Minecraft server folder because that is your server. But do not close this page. We need this right here. Second thing we're going to need to get here, guys, is Forge. So click on the third link. You're going to see here it's going to take you to Forge MC 1.21. And then you're going to click on installer. You're going to wait five seconds. You're going to be able to skip the ad. And then it's going to download. I already have it downloaded. So I'm just going to drag it to the desktop. Okay. So now we have basically what we need. Okay. Besides mods. So the first thing we're... Am I even recording? Yeah. Holy crap. Okay. So we're going to open up our server really quickly. We're going to go to new. And then we're going to, so right click, go to new, go to text document, and then open up that text document. Now, remember when I told you we need to keep our Minecraft page open, we need that text. Come here, highlight this, control C or copy and paste into here. Okay. So once you've done that, guys, this is extremely important. Okay. It's extremely important. You see here, it's called server, which is great. That means right here, we need this to be called server.jar. So let's get rid of the 1.20.121 and then the Minecraft underscore. So now we are, all we are left with here is Minecraft or just server.jar, which is what this file is. And that's what we need it to be. Now, 
This right here is how much dedicated RAM your server is going to have. I would at least recommend you get three. At least. So right here, I'm going to leave this in the description. This is going to be the fourth link or whatever we're at at this point. Right here, you're going to see three gigabytes is 3072. So we're going to copy and paste that. Now, you can obviously add as many as much as you want. I don't recommend if you have an eight gigabyte computer. If you have an eight gigabyte computer, I do not recommend going above, I would say, like even four. I would definitely like three is good. But you have to remember that the more uh, mods you install onto your server, the more RAM you're going to have. Like, the, it's going to be more laggy. If you're if you're installing a lot of freaking mods, um, it's going to be laggy. Okay. So we at least dedicated three gigabytes to RAM. So you can see here, we have everything we need. Server.jar, which is our server right here. So let's go ahead and click File, Save As. We're going to go to... We're going to put all files and then we're going to either type in start.bat or you can type in run.bat. It doesn't matter. It's whatever you prefer. It, it doesn't matter. I'm just going to do run.bat and then save. Make sure you save it to your Minecraft server. Boom. Now we can get rid of the text document. Now we have our command file. Now, if you double click on this, it's actually going to run your server. So this is what's going to run your server, guys. As you can see right here, our things, our, our our stuff is loading up and it's shut down, which is exactly what you want. So it's going to create this ULA file. You're going to double click on it and you're going to change this from false to true. And then from there, you're going to be able to run your server. So if you double click on the run again, you're going to see here that all these files are going to start to get created. It's going to go ahead and start creating your server. So now you can see that it's done. So inner server, whenever you want to stop it, you can type in stop. Boom. And then it'll stop your server. So now you can see we have all these files. You have your server property file here. Look, you can edit whatever your port server IP. Um, you know, you have everything that you need in your server. Okay, perfect. So now you might be asking, well, how do we get mods? Guys, this is how we're going to get mods. So there's one thing you guys have to understand is to be able to have a modded Minecraft server, you need to have the mods installed in your Minecraft and in your server. So if you guys are like, oh, well, I'm adding the mod file into my server mods, but it's not working. Well, did you add it into your single, like your Minecraft directory? You need to actually install the mods to your Minecraft and then put them into your mods folder in your server. So you have two mods folder and I'll show you guys what I mean. So we have our Forge, Forge 1.21. 1. Okay, let's open that up. So the first thing we're going to want to do on this installer is, oh, install server. No, we're going to install client. Okay, we got to go client first. We have to, because if you're not installing the mods to your client you cannot install them to your server okay so while that's downloading to our client let's go ahead and get a mod i'll leave this mod in the description it's just not enough or just enough items so you can see here uh 1.21 forge let's go ahead and click on that one and then we're just gonna go ahead and click download so now guys again you have to make sure that everything is the same version you have to make sure Okay, you can't download your server that is 1.21 and then your forge is 1.20.6 and then your mods are uh, 1.20.7. Like, they have to be the exact same version or else it's not going to work. So now we're just waiting for this to install to our clients. So as you can see, successfully installed client. Now, this is why I told you guys, you have to run your 1.21 version at the beginning of the video, when you go into your Minecraft, what latest release, play. You have to click play. If you haven't played the 1.21, you don't have to actually play it. You just have to launch that version up. So it creates the folders in your directory. And then you can install your Forge to your client. Because if you didn't do that, you wouldn't be able to install Forge to your client. So click OK. Now what we're going to do is open up Minecraft. And we're actually going to launch the Forge version. 
So once you open it up, you should see a Forge 1.21 at your bottom left corner in your profiles. Boom. So 1.21, 1.21 Forge. What you're going to do is click play. Now, once you click play, what that's going to do is going to prepare. It's going to install your mods folder. It's going to launch up the Forge. And once you go to your Minecraft roaming in your dot Minecraft, to be able to, to install mods, you're going to see a mods folder. If you don't launch your Forge version, you're not going to have a mods folder. So you need to launch this up before you can actually install mods. Now, I do apologize if the video is a bit lengthy. I really wanted to try to go in depth for you guys so I don't miss anything. Plus, when you're creating a Minecraft server, it's a modded server. It does take time. It's not, some, it's, it's not like a vanilla. Like If we already did a vanilla, we would have already been done. So there's a few more steps, you know, in, into to making this tutorial. Boom. So now you can see our Minecraft did load. And that's all we need to do, guys. That's it. Go ahead. Exit out. Boom. We're done. So next, now we can install Forge to our server. Okay. So you're going to open up your Forge installer one more time. You're going to click install server. And then now we're installing it to our server. So now once you click install server, you're going to click on the three little dots here. And then you're going to go to your desktop and open up your Minecraft server, click open, and then click OK. So now it's actually going to go ahead and install Forge to your server, which is awesome. So you guys, if you guys are asking what Forge is, basically Forge, what it does is it allows you to install mods. I think there's, I haven't done this in a long time, but I think it's also paper. I think that lets you also do mods. It's like another sort of Forge. Um, but Forge is the most common for most mods. Now, um, I would definitely recommend Forge. Forge is going to be your best. So you can see that it's successfully downloaded, which is awesome. You can click on this read me, uh, blah, blah, blah. It doesn't matter, whatever, whatever. Okay, guys. So really quickly, um, just to hop back in. Sorry, I do apologize. So the one thing you're going to want to do is when you run your server, guys, um, when you first install Forge to your server, you got to get rid of this the original server file. If you get rid of that one, okay, it will only run this one. You don't have to change the name of it. So I'll show you right now. If you just get rid of your vanilla server here and you only have the Forge one and you double click run, it should, it should open up that server. Dude, you've installed Forge. So if you double click your run here, okay. You're, you can see it's different now, and it'll actually create a mods folder, okay? So, before you used to have to, like, get rid of this server and then rename this to your server. Now, all you have to do is double-click your run file, your run.bat, and that's it. It'll automatically install um, your, um, your server. So, you can see done. We have a mods folder now, which is great, and... And we can actually go ahead and stop the server now. Boom. Okay, so server stop. We have our mods folder, which is great. Now, let's open up our mods folder. We have our mod here, right, guys? But remember what I told you. We need to install it to both Minecrafts, the server and our profile. So right here, you're going to right-click, and you're going to click copy, and then you're going to paste it. Okay, so we still have another version because if you just drag this in here, you're going to lose. You need to have two. So now our server has just enough items. Now, what we need to do here is type in run percent app data percent. Okay, that's what you're going to enter and then click. Okay, now this is going to open up your Minecraft. Boom. Okay, so click on your dot Minecraft. And you should see a mods folder open that up. So now in your mods folder, this is where you can drag in your just not enough items. So if you look in both mods folders, we copied and pasted it into our server and then we cop and then we dragged it into our client. So now our dot Minecraft directory, which is our Minecraft, has just enough items. And then our Minecraft server has just enough items. So like I said, if you had just enough items in this but not in this it would not work you have to install it to both now also your friend 
if you're playing with someone and you guys are installing the same mods and creating your own Minecraft mod in Minecraft server, you he needs he she needs to download these mods and install them into here into this mods folder. So you need to have the mods and he or she needs to have the mods. Okay, so it's not just you, your server. And you and your buddy have to have the mods, okay? So if, let's say, hey, uh, we're going to have just enough items. Well, he needs to download this as well. And that he needs to install it to his forge on 1.21, okay? Hopefully that makes sense. I'm not trying to confuse you guys too much. So now if we double-click run, it'll run our mods. So now our server is actually going to load up and we're good to go. Okay, so we, now we should have just enough items. So we're going to go ahead and launch up Minecraft. And we'll see you guys in the Minecraft. Okay, so now as you can see, we are in Minecraft. Okay, so now as you can see, we are in Minecraft. We loaded up. If you look at the bottom left-hand corner, you can see three mods loaded. Which means our just enough items is also in there. Perfect. So if we go ahead, we go multiplayer. Yeah, proceed. Okay. And then... So here is a LAN scanning your local network. If we go ahead, that should be our server. Let's go ahead and join. Boom. So we did go ahead and join the Minecraft server. What a spawn on this server, guys. Holy moly. Um, what, What's going on with this? So again, we don't have Optifine installed, which again is crappy because there's no Optifine for this specific version. But... Uh, since there's no Optifine for this version, it's going to be a lot more laggy, obviously. But you can see here, we have just enough items. So we actually have the mod. So like I said, we are in the server and we have the mod. And that's how you do it, guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Give it a like and subscribe. I tried to make it as short as possible. It's a bit hard not to go in depth in this type of video because... There's a lot to it in a way, but I'm trying not to overcomplicate it, but I really want to make sure you guys understand. So sometimes I tend to, to go a little bit more in depth, and I, I do apologize if that is confusing. Um, but anyways, guys, let me know down in the comments below if you enjoyed the video. If there's anything I missed, please give me a like and subscribe. I would greatly appreciate that from you guys, and thank you guys so much. We're almost at 3,000. I'll see you guys next time. Adios.